Good afternoon, everybody in the Grand Community. Uh, my name is Honorable Diki Henry Obasi. Coming into the cyberspace this day to sixth day of October, 2023. I am coming to address some important issues that our people are treating with kicks glove. And if urgent steps are not taken to put this uh, nonsense to a stop, uh, it's going to rob us of all this, our jubilation, all these years of waiting for disbursement. Something drastic is going to happen and uh, nobody is going to blame God. We should blame ourselves. Now, follow me down. There are some NGOs which have been crying all this while that registered small children, underage children, they put them as cluster heads and what have you. There are some people who have up to five and six, 15, 20, up to 25 NGOs, one person with over 10,000 clusters. And that attitude is geared towards making sure that the entire money comes to one person or, or group of people, why the entire nation will go hungry. You see, you see why our people are very wicked. The people who suffered for this money, they are all dead. The people who went and brought this money, they are all dead. Now you that is alive, that is that has the privilege to enjoy this money, you want to eat this money alone. Why the rest of the nation will be coming to a house to beg you for soup whenever they, they finish doing ever. You see why we are very, very wicked. That is why things, things continue to become difficult for some group of people. Now, please, all these NGOs, that are clapping for these criminal-minded NGOs that do not want verification and the, the screen exercise to take place. And you are clapping for them, not knowing that they are plans, all their plans to eat this money alone has been spotted and they are crying wolf. Somebody's boat is sinking. And you know actually that somebody's boat is sinking. And the, the person caused what precipitated the sinking of his boat. And he's asking you that is walking on the street to come and enter his boat that is sinking. And you know actually where that the boat is sinking. You, fall, you entered the boat. And when the boat began to go down the sea to be submerged, you started to, go, to cry, help me, oh, please help me. Oh. I am, you are going to get drunk. I don't, I don't know the reason why some of our people are behaving like animals. How can you follow NGOs that are fraudulent, thieves, to clap for them that you don't want to come for verification? Okay, now, please, if you don't want to come for verification, if you don't want to come for the I sign of MOU, don't come, stay in your house. Those who are interested to come should go to Abuja and they sign the necessary documents and get their money. If you don't want to come, please stay at home. Please, I am appealing to UAG management, Obiwabo and the Agra Pressure Group. Please get us the names of these NGOs that are discouraging people not to come for verification. Give, give us their food details, publish their food details. Let us go to their churches and their houses and ask them who has bewitched them to become a stumbling block to the progress that God is bringing to the masses. I see no reason why somebody wants to die and you that God has given life. You want to follow somebody that, that has agreed that he's going to die. You want to follow him to die. Are we under a spell? I've never seen this kind of thing before. Now, the man that wrote a letter stopping the, the verification exercise, I saw the long letter episode that the guy wrote to Apostle Ken Wakama to stop the, the exercise. Please, Alahaji, or whatever you call your name, where have you been all this while? Why have you not ratified all the problems associated with this screening and signing of the